Today I want to show you how I got my telescope all set up so that I can record my images from the telescope that's outside on my computer that's inside. First of all, let's take a look at the telescope itself. This is the C or the Celestron uh, Edge 11 inch HD telescope on top of a CGX mount. And the CGX mount is very important because the software I'm using, PWI, requires that this mount be the one it's used. And uh, it's a very good mount, by the way. It can support up to 44 pounds of payload. And you can see I got uh, uh, an Orion ED80. Uh, T CF on the top uh, piggyback which is an F6 telescope uh, refractor triplet and of course the 11 inch Celestron CST and over here in the background I got my uh, Orion Maskatov telescope uh, Newtonian covered at the moment because it's not being in use but right now we're going to concentrate on this telescope right here because lately that's the, uh, the, the actually the two systems I've been using the most now the camera I'm using at the moment is the uh, Canon T7i and it's piggybacked, uh, actually it's hooked right into the focal length uh, of the telescope. At this particular instance it's on the uh, Celestron 11 inch scope. And over here is the autofocuser which I can focus the Celestron telescope from inside the house. And uh, also uh, the controller down here is hooked up uh, from USB. Uh, from the hand control into the computer from uh, upstairs so I can control the telescope from upstairs via this USB at the bottom of the uh, hand device right here and the uh, this little device in the middle here is just my dew buster uh, that's uh, the uh, thermostats for the uh, dew strips that wrap around the uh, scope itself and to keep to help keep the cables from grabbing on to knobs and things what have you I put you know, just covers over the right ascension and declination adjustment knobs to help prevent the cables from snagging on there. I have snagged them one time too many, actually about five times too many already. And uh, what else we got? We got the uh, 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 filter wheel right here. Uh, it's a manual filter wheel, but uh, that way I can change the filters or have no filter at all. There's a blank uh, hole in there, no filters on it. One of the reasons why I do this inside right now is the, the bugs here in Savannah. Right now the gnats are going crazy. I don't know if you can see them or not. If I could swing around and point toward the sun, you might be able to see the gnats flying in the air. And uh, they're hungry too. They're eating me up alive right now. But uh, then in the summer times it's the mosquitoes, particularly at night. Uh, the mosquitoes are bad. And over here I have the power strip. Uh, to uh, power all the devices. Uh, the uh, uh, top device right here that powers my Canon camera. That's a uh, remote power supply that goes right into the camera itself. Uh, replaces the battery and other devices uh, to power the scope and to uh, power the uh, dew strippers, the uh, uh, dew busters to help um, power the dew busters. And the most important part is this blue box down here. Uh, in it is my connector. Uh, this connects all the USB devices from the telescope uh, going upstairs into my main computer. How do I do that? I have a device here which is a, a USB 2 extender and I have 75 feet of CAT6 line. Let me get on the other side here. This uh, blue wire here that's a CAT6 uh, network cable and it goes down underground and it goes across uh, over underneath some of my data lilies right here and it goes up this pole can't see it because I have it uh, disguised nicely and it goes along the uh, balcony up there and then way over there at the top of the uh, uh, balcony at the bottom of the door to the left uh, is where the cable actually goes inside to my den and there it connects to my computer where I have a much more powerful computer to use versus the laptop outside plus it's inside and there's no bugs. Right now this, the telescope is parked and it's looking toward the north. This is about the best position I could put the telescope because of the trees that are around my house. This is looking toward the east right now. Well not right now. 
always in this direction is the east. It doesn't change. Uh, but the camera changes. So now the camera is swinging around to the southeast. There's a big American holly tree right here which blocks the southeastern view from just about any uh, location in my backyard. And then uh, the south is right there. So the, um, the meridian is just to the right of this holly tree. And uh, uh, usually I have to wait for a lot of the objects in the southern sky to cross the meridian before I can even see them, particularly the planets. Now occasionally the planets will rise in the east-northeast, that's right there. So I'll be able to get them and they come up and then they go behind the holly tree. And then they come out behind the holly tree about an hour and a half later. And then I got some pretty good sailing in the southwestern sky. And uh, then comes the west as I'm going to start looking in the sun. And there's a line of trees off there. So uh, once I get about 30 degrees uh, near the horizon, I lose my objects into the trees out to the west. And there's the sun and out to the uh, northwest. And also with the telescope situation here, uh, anything low in the northwestern sky is, is not going to happen. And anything low in the northern sky is not going to happen. However, in the northern sky right now, this angle here, I'm pointing toward the city of Savannah. I'm on the far, far south side. So I'm looking into the glow of the lights of Savannah. So that's very difficult to get objects to my north. To the northeast, I have to wait till it clears the roof of the garage. And this uh, Savannah holly tree uh, has to sometimes wait till it clears or get way above that. Uh, and then off to the east, I'm looking toward some of the islands. Uh, it's not as light, but there's still a little bit of light pollution. But of course, the southeast, if the trees weren't there, it would be excellent because it's looking over the ocean. However, looking toward the south and the southwest, I'm looking over marshes and the ocean. So those are my darkest skies right in this area here. Uh, when I just crossed the meridian, and for about three hours after the meridian, looking toward the south and southwest, I have really dark skies out here, and I can actually see the Milky Way uh, in the summertime, in the late spring and summer, uh, in this backyard looking in this direction, because those skies are dark. All right, here I am inside. I got the uh, program up and running, the Celestron PWI, and it's all connected from the outside to the inside with this little box right here, and uh, that's a USB connector. That's the uh, blue Cat6 cable coming in, 75 feet of it, and it's connected to this computer right here, and then there, of course, the display is right there. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of the uh, Celestron PWI software. I really like it. It's very, very helpful to, um, to have this abil ability to control the telescope here inside my office. All right, so here we have it. I'm at the home position right now, which is the uh, uh, north polar position, uh, right next to Polaris. And let's uh, find a target. Let's go to, let's say, the Orion Nebula. Okay, it's down here somewhere, right there. And go to target. And I can minimize this. There you can see the uh, telescope right here uh, is moving to the target and heading toward the constellation Orion. And within the constellation Orion would be the Orion Nebula, M42, which I asked it to go to. And there it's going to. Looking at PH2 guiding the guide scope, you can see it scanning through. And there's the uh, nebula showing up there in the guide scope at the moment. Uh, however, let's take a look at the actual camera view. And uh, that's not it. Let's take a picture of itself. Two, three. Oh, let's see, it wasn't it wasn't finally totally there yet. It was still fine-tuning itself. Now it's on target. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Wow. Three second exposure, not too bad. Well, I hope this helps you uh, uh, see how I do my uh, photography here in the uh, Savannah. And, um, again, there's a lot of bugs out here in Savannah. Uh, Savannah's a great place, but <laughs> there's a lot of bugs out here, too. And they like to eat, and usually I'm the buffet when I'm out there at night with the telescope. So, in here, it's a totally different story. It's air-conditioned in the summer. It's heated in the wintertime. 
it's, it's just so much easier to do it this way and with the uh, Celestron PWI software it makes life so much easier. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.